separate uh, sections on various uh, working of tally developer 9 and uh, the dictionary manager and the developer mode of tally however we will just take a small uh, recap of this a uh, quick uh, working of this so that you can do a quick working for details you can please refer to the uh, to the recorded sessions of tally developer 9 dictionary manager and tally developer mode so we have seen certain interfaces we have already seen this interface execution uh, yes uh, to execute tally you need a valid tally developer license the license activities are similar to what we have for tally you have to activate the first time activation you require an unlock you need a reactivation we have updates surrender you can see the license info details uh, you can do a compilation that is build and you say compile file it will start compiling and it will check for errors and warnings if you have in case uh, right now the file uh, names are shown at the bottom you can go to tools preferences and this can be changed like position of the file tabs on the top uh, you can say the keyword case make it an uppercase you know, please note all these visual effects would be only for tally developer 9 so in case you open it in notepad it will still be the regular case that you have typed make references underlined if you want tab size is 4 so you can change this you can change the font uh, font type if you require explorer options so there are various other tabs apart from the project pane so whether you want to restore the last project and the file on startup so when you start tally developer the last project and the files that you have worked on will get open whether the whether the project you want to view folder wise or not so if you do not click on this it will become file wise we'll see what is a fa function browser and other things and we have something called as action browsers and we say and we did see the compile layer option okay you see the file has gone on the top this become references has become underlined there are changes here uh, we have a definition browser so these are the list of default definition types available and when you expand this you will get the list of attributes that we have for each definition in default and the explanation so you will see at report we have something called as title it displays the title for the report in the left corner so that's what we have seen Then we have the function browser. In this function browser, there are a list of functions that we have for our utilities. Right now, this is uh, uh, based on the category the function belongs to. So when you click on date, you will see all the functions that are related to date. When you click on amount, you will get all the functions that are related to amount. When you click on business, you will get all the functions that are related to business. right so and then we have action browser so at report level these actions can be performed at part level these actions can be performed at field level these actions can be performed it's a huge endless list so these are specific actions that can be performed at menu we, these actions can be performed so uh, we have a huge list of actions that you can perform at each definition also these are the system level actions also available so there's a huge huge list of actions that are made available in the action browser along with which definition this browser can be used 
uh, very important thing uh, that you should know as a developer right now this file is in a text file and it's a modifiable file in a notepad definitely when you give it to your customer you wouldn't be giving it as a notepad definitely not you need to compile this file for a particular serial number however a text file cannot be uh, encrypted or we call it as build it cannot be build or encrypted so you need to have a new project file and here the name of the project we say hello tdl the location of the project and we will add an existing text file to this project so to encrypt a file a project file has to be created and the required text file or files has to be added here you can add multiple text files either you can click on new add new files i can and you can add one more file and save or the other way is see a file is created here and you can Move the selected, add an existing main, save, and say you do want to add file to one is you right click on the properties and you say add existing files or create new files, or with the help of a tdl command, you can add another file here, and that is open square bracket include colon txt and the file gets added the, now comes the encryption or building of this for a particular serial number on this you first right click on the project so click on properties so a project properties pane is open in build options you can give the name of your product say tgl program uh, you can provide the author name suggested is you provide your company name the name of the developer and his or her mobile number Then you can provide the versions like as Tali is providing Tali ERP9 release 1.42. You can also provide your version numbers. So you can say really or you can say version 1.0 release 1.0. You can provide. Uh, compilation format we have two formats one is irreversible and one is regular when it, when, it, uh, when it comes to irreversible this kind or encrypted format of files cannot be decrypted even by the developer from whom it has been compiled which means the developer will have to maintain the source code of every TDL file developed by him. However, it is applicable only for Tally ERP 9 3.6 release and above that. Well, the developer has a choice to click on regular, which means a regular compilation. He 
the developer can